Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is a uh, stretch and shout question. If you haven't done this yet, pause the video, give it a go yourself first. And I'm gonna do a solution. Okay, so I'm hoping everyone did give it a go properly first. So in our stretch and shout, we've got three different, well, four different modules. Each of the modules of the lower level returns a Boolean parameter X. So we need to draw that onto the chart. That's easy. Boolean. So this is lower level. This is like upper level. So we need to put one there, one here, called X, and one here, called X. Done. Each phrase has to carry one, uh, well, core, sorry, only. Okay, I can't read. <laughs> what am I talking about? Okay, let's try it again. <clears throat> Process basket, which is this one at the top, will call only one of the modules shown. So it's either going to show this one, so you're going to call this one, or it's even going to call this one. Which means we need to use a selection, which will be an if statement in coding. If they type in discard basket, it'll do this one. If they type in change item quantity, it'll do this one. If they do that, it'll do that one. There you go, that's it. That's the two marks. The parameters A to G, which is basically what's labelled here, are actually these. When we need to match them up to the correct ones. And um, this is about using common sense. So let me just wipe this clean. If this was like an online shopping website, we're processing the basket. So we could either delete all the items in our shopping cart. So let's imagine I'm on Amazon, I added a book to my shopping cart. I say, you know what, actually, I want to delete it. I don't want to buy it anymore. We want to remove it. What would be the parameter we pass to discard? What would be A out of these? Will it be the payment details? No, because it's got nothing to do with paying. Will it be quantity? No, because quantity is how many do I want to buy? Will it be the basket ID of my shopping cart? Potentially, will it be my delivery address? No. Why would I need to pass in my delivery address for it to remove the item? Do I need to pass in the item ID to remove the item? Possibly. So I know it's not gonna be payment details because this isn't about buying an item, it's discarding. It's not gonna be about quantity because I'm not altering a quantity, I'm literally just removing. It's not going to be delivery address because it's got nothing to do with taking an item. So it's either going to be, sorry, it's not nothing to do with delivering an item. So it's either going to be basket ID or item ID. Well, here's the thing. This is saying remove all items. So I'm not going to pass in one item ID. So I'm not going to say, this much I've got a book and a game. And I say, I want to discard the basket items. It's not going to pass in one item, let's say game ID, because that'll just get rid of game ID. It's not going to pass in the book ID because, again, it'll just get rid of the book ID. It needs to get rid of all the items from my shopping cart. So it can't be item ID. It'll have to be the basket ID, as in the identifier for my shopping basket with all the items. It's my shopping basket, like my book, like my game. And it'll find, let's say this is ID number one. It'll go to it and delete everything from it. So basket. ID. Okay. So let's undo all of this. Let's undo all of this. A is bas basket ID. So what if we want to change for item quantity? What would I need to pass into it in order for us to do this? Well, I'll definitely need to pass in quantity. That makes perfect sense. I'll definitely need to pass in what item I want to change the quantity. So let's imagine that I'm buying um, some toilet paper on Amazon. By default, it gives me one quantity. I want to update it so I'm buying eight rolls of toilet paper. So I want that to change to eight. So I need also the item ID because I could have lots of items like I have toilet paper, I could have toothpaste. I want it to change the toilet paper one, so I'm going to need the ID of toilet paper, i.e. the item ID. But I'm also going to need the shopping basket ID again, because it needs to know which shopping basket we're talking about here. 
And it doesn't matter what order you put those in, A, B, C, and D. It doesn't matter if you do like item ID is B, for example. All right. And for checking out, what would be useful for this to have? Well, again, in order for it to check out and dispatch, it's going to need my address. So it's going to need my delivery address. Beginning my payment details in order for me to pay. And it's also going to need, again, my basket ID, which contains all my items in it. So what will happen is I've got all my items in here, like book, game, let's say this is $1, $70. It will go through my basket, it will look at all the items, it will add them up and give me a total. So it needs my shopping basket to know which one is mine. What well, I keep saying by basket ID is every customer who shops on the website who's got currently a basket ID, sorry, basket, will have its own ID so it knows which one's which. So imagine you're in a shopping, um, in a supermarket and three people leave their baskets lying around. You wouldn't know whose they are. But imagine you put their name on it, like Joe's basket, Sally's basket, and uh, Dwight's basket. Now you do. Same with online. If I've got 5,000 people shopping at the same time, each with their own shopping basket, they've each got their own ID, so you need to know who's is who. So there we go. That's the finished question.